Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're coming back, welcome back. I have a lot of really cool videos playing guys, so I don't think you're gonna to wanna to miss them. So hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Today's video is a collab with a brand new YouTuber, but not brand new to the luxury community. Her channel is called Jack's Bag Attack. And I am speaking of the lovely, kind, and sweet Jacqueline King. Yes, finally, she started a channel. And her channel just went live on Monday. And when I heard that she had a channel, I said, let's do a collab. Because she knows a whole lot about the brand that I'm going to be talking about today. But before I get into that, guys, I wanted to... Henry. Henry. Got the crazies guys before i do that i wanted to show a lovely gift that my friend devin christopher sent to me first of all he made this beautiful card of course says dawn loves couture and then the inside he has the words to abba's super trooper and here is his insignia in the back Big butt greens. <laughs> I love Devin. And Devin is a fabulous artist. He's got a real eye for pop art and folk art type aesthetic. Go over to his channel and check him out because he's just a heck of a nice person. And he's fashionable, artistic, and just a lot of fun. He also sent me this Fiona Hewitt notebook with adorable cats look at them and look they're wearing little animal slippers so cute this is just gorgeous it has the bookmarker in the front here's the artwork in the back i have not used this yet because i'm still deciding what i'm going to put in this it's got to be something special because it's a special little gift so still deciding if you have any suggestions leave them in the comment box so guys what can i say i'm on a duty journey you know, I bought this light pink hobo in the pebble green leather, and I love it. I wore it a couple of times, but I'm really saving this for spring because it's just a beautiful color for spring and for summer. And it's just a nice, casual, really classic style bag. You got your feet on the bottom. You can see it's structured, but squishy at the same time. The leather is so soft. It's got this beautiful treated vaquetta. This is the vaquetta that they use. And I mean, I just love it. And it's light. I never expected that it would be light. So now I'm getting emails from Dooney. And I saw that the I Love Dooney site was having a sale on pebble green leather. So I said, well, let me go take a look and just see what they have. Of course, I wasn't planning to buy anything, but, you know, famous last words. So as I was browsing, I came across something that I had to have because I thought it was just beautiful. And that would be this bag of the day. This is the mini pebble grain tote. And this is in the color Tomorrow Brown, T-M-O-R-O. -O. I guess it would be tomorrow. And you can see it's got the duck logo here. It's got a nice zip pocket in the front. And it's pretty deep, guys. You could put a, a good bit in here. It'll fit definitely a card case, some receipts, you know, some small things that you want to keep handy. Inside, I have it packed. So you can see how I have it packed. I have tissues. I have my Aspinall small pouch. I have my little mini Chanel O case that I showed on my Chanel collection video. I have my Zippy wallet, Chanel Zippy card holder wallet. I have my keys and my nose spray. You can see it all fits. So in this pocket, you have a slip pocket and a zipper compartment. The zipper compartment goes all the way down and then on this wall you have another slip pocket and of course my phone fits i have a hand cream here 
one of my little Saban hand creams, which by the way, you could find at some Ulta's now. So yes, Ulta is starting to carry Saban, which I think is great. Anyway, more than enough room for your everyday essentials. You could put some sunglasses in here on the top. It's, it's going to hold it all. And you have a detachable shoulder strap, more than long enough for crossbody. In fact, I could go, this is set to the, let's see, there are one, two, three, four, five holes. Five holes, I have it set to the fifth hole. I could definitely go up at least one or two more holes. Um, and this is over my coat. I still have plenty of room over my coat. Without a coat, I could go at least two holes and it'll sit at a really nice crossbody length. So yeah, I was just happy to have this. And remember I mentioned before, 24 karat gold plated hardware. You can't beat that. You got your feet on the bottom. Beautiful details. And this was $117 with tax and shipping. I mean, this again, another very classic style bag. You can't go wrong. I mean, you just cannot go wrong for an all leather bag. And it's just beautiful. It's very beautifully made. So shortly thereafter, like within a day or so, I got another notice that they were having a sale on the Dooney site. And there was one bag that I really liked that was on sale when it was first released. I passed it up. It went to double the price. And I said, no, I don't want to buy it because I know it was just on sale. And lo and behold, it was on sale again. So what did I do? Add the cart. What can I say? So the bag in question is this beautiful Penrose 25. And this is actually in a smooth leather. But if you look close, you'll see the texture of the leather. I mean, it's it's got a very velvety, soft touch to it. But you can see the grain in the leather if you get up very close to it. And you can still see all of the natural marks in the leather. And when I say marks, I don't mean defects. I mean the veining of the hide. And here is what the side looks like. It has these, I think these are really cute little ties. You do have pointy corners. Don't know how that's going to be for corner wear, but I don't really bump into things, so it should be okay. And it's sewn at the bottom. There's no feet. And the other corner is made the same. You have a gold Dooney and Burke plate in the front that's very small. It's a very minimalistic design, minimalist design. And you have a leather strap. And again, this is Vaquetta. Two buckles. It can be removed. But I really like, and, and some people don't like this type of leather. I think it's a little bit much. But I like this leather. I think that the way that this is designed with the buckles really adds something to the bag while still keeping it a really minimalist design. And this is really cute, really casual, and... It does fit over the shoulder with no problem. Look, see how cute. You can't go wrong. So it's 25 centimeters. So this is gonna be the length of the Speedy, Speedy 25. And I guess the depth of this is about three inches at the bottom. It does taper to the top, but it looks like it's gonna hold quite a bit. So, I just actually opened this, so we're all kind of looking at all these details for the first time. And I'm going to take the stuffing out so we can see what the inside looks like. And all the Dooney bags come with this little dog leash clip for your keys, which I think is a great feature. And of course, there's silicone packets, but again, you have a zip pocket on this wall
This is Dooney and Burke since 1975. And you know, this is a family owned company. They've never gone public. They still maintain control of everything that happens, Peter Dooney and his, his family. So this slip pocket goes almost the whole length of the bag. And there's more than enough room for you to put what you need on an everyday basis in here. So just for the fun of it, since I have my bag here, let's stuff it up and see. So I have my zip wallet. And yeah, I do need to take the silicone out, but we're just playing with it now. And I have the coin pouch. And that actually just went on its own, sort of, into the zipper compartment. Now I can't zip the zipper compartment with this in here, so I'm gonna move it to Let's move it to the slip pocket, like so. And my O case. And this is really great for small bags. So that's gonna fit right alongside my zippy, like that. My keys. And of course, you know, that's the Louis Vuitton clay. And last but not least, oh, embarrassing, but my nose spray, because I can't leave home without it. And it all fits in there with no trouble. And again, there's room to spare. I could put a mini pochette, luck. Let's play with that zipper. Look at that smooth, this smooth zipper. And there's plenty of room and it's not heavy. Look how sleek, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And this color is top. I wanna say this comes in maybe six different colors. I will show you all the tag, in case you're interested. I mean, guys, you can't do wrong. You really just can't. You know, I am a luxury bag lover. I love my luxury brands, as you all know, but I'm a bag lover, guys. And when I see something that I think is beautiful and practical and really well made, I am not going to pass it up. And this fits the bill. So that's all I have to say. So I'm up to three Dooney bags already. I kind of understand why people say that they collect. <laughs> but anyway... I'm really glad that I added these. The next piece that I do want to add is something in the all weather leather. So that's going to be coming up sometime in the future, definitely for the fall, definitely for the fall, because I want it for, you know, rainy season and if it ever snows again here. So head on over to Jackie's channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you in my next video. And just as a preview, I have coming up a skincare and makeup spring refresh collab with Winnie BLV. That's probably going to be next week. And I have at least one collection video that I'm probably going to put up on Saturday. So I'll see you soon, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.